Hello everyone. In today's session of CCNA series, I will discuss about routing protocols. Routers add IP routes to their routing table using three different methods. Connected routes, static routes, and by using dynamic routing protocols. Dynamic routing is a mechanism through which routing information is exchanged between routers to determine the optimal path between network devices. A routing protocol is used to identify and announce the network paths. Routing protocols are a set of defined rules used by the routers to communicate between the source and the destination. So dynamic routing protocols were desi designed to address the previously uh, mentioned shortcoming of static routing, such as the need for human involvement to make any changes or if a network is big, the static routing would not be the optimal solution because for large network as it is very time intensive. Let's go ahead and look at some of the routing protocol fundamentals. So routing protocols perform this function such as discover. It learns routing information about remote networks from neighboring routers. For example, R1 learns from R2. Similarly, R2 learns from R1 and R3. And similarly, R3 learns from R2 and R1. It advertises. It advertises routing information about local network to neighboring routers. It calculates. It calculates the best path to remote network if multiple paths exist. For example, uh, from R1 to R2, uh, R3, I have two paths, one from R2 and one from R3. So it calculates the best path. And the fourth one is converge. For example, if a link failure causes a change in the network topology and the best path is down, it recalculates a new optimal route. So you don't need to have a floating static route or something. So when you have a path from R1 to R3, uh, it will calculate both the path and it will also calculate the best path. And when the best path is down, it will converge and it will calculate a new path. There are two types of routing protocol. Okay. You can say they're categorized into two types. One is IGP. Another one is EGP. Before we discuss about or before we understand the differences between IGP and EGP, we need to understand an important term that is autonomous system or AS. An autonomous system or AS is a network or a collection of network that are all managed and supervised by a single entity or an organization. It is, as I said, it is a network or a collection of networks that are all managed by single entity or an organization. Typical example of an AS are a company's internal network or an ISP network which is also typically a single AS. Let's go ahead and discuss about IGP. An IGP is also known as interior gateway protocol a routing protocol that was designed and intended for use inside a single autonomous system it is used for routing within an autonomous system it is it is used for routing used i mean within an autonomous system it is also referred to as intra as routing companies organization and even service provider used an interior gateway protocols on their internal networks interior gateway protocol includes rip 
OSP, EIGRP, OSPF, and ISIS. These are the IGB protocols. In our CCNA curriculum, we have only OSPF, which we will discuss in the upcoming sessions. Then we have another type of protocol that is EGP, also known as Exterior Gateway Protocol. This is designed for routing between autonomous system. It is also referred to as Inter-AS Routing Protocol. Service provider and large companies may interconnect using an exterior gateway protocol. Exterior proto gateway protocol includes only one protocol that is BGP also known as border gateway protocol which is the only currently viable EGP and is the official routing protocol used by the internet. That's it for this session. I hope this was informative for you. Thank you for watching.